spatial disorientation. Spatial unawareness is the inability of a person to correctly determine his or her body position in space. This phenomenon refers especially to aircraft pilots and underwater divers, but can be also induced in normal conditions a euro chemically or physically. In aviation, the term means the inability to correctly interpret aircraft attitude, altitude or airspeed, in relation to the earth or point of reference, especially after a reference point has been lost. Spatial disorientation is a condition in which an aircraft pilot's perception of direction does not agree with reality. While it can be brought on by disturbances or disease within the vestibular system, it is more typically a temporary condition resulting from flight into poor weather conditions with low or no visibility. Under these conditions the pilot may be deprived of an external visual horizon, which is critical to maintaining a correct sense of up and down while flying. A pilot who enters such conditions will quickly lose spatial orientation if there has been no training in flying with reference to instruments. Approximately 80% of the private pilots in the United States do not have an instrument rating, and therefore are prohibited from flying in conditions where instrument skills are required. Not all pilots abide by this rule and approximately 40% of the NTSB Fatal General Aviation Accident Reports list continuation of flight into conditions for which the pilot was not qualified as a cause. Senses during flight, during the abnormal acceleratory environment of flight, the vestibular and proprioceptive systems do not respond vertically. Because of inertial forces created by acceleration of the aircraft along with centrifugal force caused by turning, the net gravitual inertial force sensed primarily by the otolith organs is not aligned with gravity, leading to perceptual misjudgment of the vertical. In addition, the inner ear contains rotational accelerometers, known as the semicircular canals, which provide information to the lower brain on rotational accelerations in the pitch, roll and your axis. However, prolonged rotation results in a cessation of semicircular output and cessation of rotation thereafter can even result in the perception of motion in the opposite direction. Under ideal visual conditions the above illusions are unlikely to be perceived, but at night or in weather the visual inputs are no longer capable of overriding these illusory non-visual sensations. In many cases, illusory visual inputs such as a sloping cloud deck can also lead to misjudgments of the vertical and of speed and distance or even combine with the non-visual ones to produce an even more powerful illusion. The result of these various visual and non-visual illusions is spatial disorientation. Effects of disorientation Once an aircraft enters conditions under which the pilot cannot see a distinct visual horizon, the drift in the inner ear continues uncorrected. Errors in the perceived rate of turn about any axis can build up at a rate of 0.2 to 0.3 degrees per second. If the pilot is not proficient in the use of gyroscopic flight instruments, these errors will build up to a point that control of the aircraft is lost, usually in a steep, diving turn known as a graveyard spiral. During the entire time, leading up to and well into the maneuver, the pilot remains unaware that he is turning believing that he is maintaining straight flight. The graveyard spiral usually terminates when the g-forces on the aircraft build up to and exceed the structural strength of the airframe, resulting in catastrophic failure, or when the aircraft contacts the ground. In a 1954 study, the University of Illinois Institute of Aviation found that 19 out of 20 non-instrument rated subject pilots went into a graveyard spiral soon after entering simulated instrument conditions. The 20th pilot also lost control of his aircraft, but in another maneuver. The average time between onset of instrument conditions and loss of control was 178 seconds. Spatial disorientation can also affect instrument-rated pilots in certain conditions. A powerful tumbling sensation can be set up if the pilot moves his head too much during instrument flight. This is called the Coriolis illusion. Pilots are also susceptible to spatial disorientation during night flight over featureless terrain. Spatial orientation Spatial orientation is the ability to maintain body orientation and posture in relation to the surrounding environment at rest and during motion. Humans have evolved to maintain spatial orientation on the ground. The three-dimensional environment of flight is unfamiliar to the human body, 
creating sensory conflicts and illusions that make spatial orientation difficult and sometimes impossible to achieve. Statistics show that between 5% and 10% of all general aviation accidents can be attributed to spatial disorientation, 90% of which are fatal. Good spatial orientation on the ground relies on the use of visual, vestibular, and proprioceptive sensory information. Changes in linear acceleration, angular acceleration, and gravity are detected by the vestibular system and the proprioceptive receptors, and then compared in the brain with visual information. Spatial D and G induced loss of consciousness are two of the most common causes of death from human factors in military aviation. Spatial orientation in flight is difficult to achieve because numerous sensory stimuli vary in magnitude, direction, and frequency. Any differences or discrepancies between visual, vestibular, and proprioceptive sensory inputs result in a sensory mismatch that can produce illusions and lead to spatial disorientation. Equals the otolith organs and orientation equals, two otolith organs, the circle and utricle, are located in each ear and are set at right angles to each other. The utricle detects changes in linear acceleration in the horizontal plane, while the circle detects gravity changes in the vertical plane. However, the inertial forces resulting from linear accelerations cannot be distinguished from the force of gravity therefore, gravity can also produce stimulation of the utricle and circle. A response of this type will occur during a vertical takeoff in a helicopter or following the sudden opening of a parachute after a free fall. Non-visible horizon, anyone in an aircraft that is making a coordinated turn, no matter how steep, will have little or no sensation of being tilted in the air unless the horizon is visible. Similarly, it is possible to gradually climb or descend without a noticeable change in pressure against the seat. In some aircraft, it is possible to execute a loop without pulling negative G so that, without visual reference, the pilot could be upside down without being aware of it. This is because a gradual change in any direction of movement may not be strong enough to activate the fluid in the vestibular system, so the pilot may not realize that the aircraft is accelerating, decelerating, or banking. In the media, this phenomenon was extensively reported in the press in 1999, after John F. Kennedy, Jr.'s plane went down during a night flight over water near Martha's Vineyard. Subsequent investigation pointed to spatial disorientation as a probable cause of the accident. It is believed that world-famous singer Jim Reeves was suffering from spatial disorientation when his Beechcraft aircraft crashed in the Brentwood area of Nashville, Tennessee, during a violent thunderstorm on Friday 31 July 1964, claiming the lives of both Reeves and his pianist Dean Manuel. Intentionally induced spatial disorientation was a major plot point in the two-part tailspin episode, A Bad Reflection on You. See also, Adam Air Flight 574, Aeroflot Flight 821, Agni Air Flight August 24, 101, 2010, Air India Flight January 1, 855, 1978, Atlash Jet Flight November 30, 4203, 2007, Balance Disorder, Barani Chair, Broken Escalator Phenomenon, Brownout, The Day the Music Died, February 3, 1959, Dizziness, Equilibrioception, Flash Airlines Flight 604, Gulf Air Flight 072, John F. Kennedy Jr. Plane Crash, July 16, 1999, Ideo Motor Phenomenon. Illusions of Self Motion, Rocky Marciano. Motion Sickness, Pilot Error, Proprioception, Jim Reeves, July 31, 1964, Seasickness, Sensory Illusions in Aviation, Situation Awareness. References External links Information from the following government documents is in the public domain. HTTP www.kami.jccbi gov brought you spatial d to home htm, http, www.kami.jccbi gov brochures dysor n htm, http, www.kami.jccbi gov brochures spatial d htm, http, www.kami.jccbi gov brochures spatial d page 2 htm, Ashton Greibel Spatial Orientation Laboratory HTTP, 
www.grybeal brand ic do history html.